Hello all, welcome to the channel. This is B Square, and today we will make a structural simulation on SolidWorks. Here you can see I have a car frame, and today we will make simulation on it. Okay, so if you are new in the channel, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for latest video. So I am starting the tutorial. Here you can see the model is built with the use of a weldment command. Okay, so I am starting the simulation. In this video, we will make a impact test. Here you can see calculating joints because we made this model with the use of weldment. So I am applying here material that is 1020. Apply and close. Okay, now here you can see a new option that is joint group. Okay, so right click and edit. Here you can see this option equal to zero touching and we selected automatically. Okay, so simple click OK and also click OK. Okay, now fixture. Fixture is a back side part here you can see this one and these four joints click ok here you can see purple dots and green so purple dot shows your joint is perfectly joined with each other and this green shows this is not joint because here is nothing, it is the open part, so that's why you are getting a different color joint. Okay, now we will apply here force in the front side. So select here joints and select these five joints. Okay, now we need to give the direction for that. I am choosing right plane and giving the value that is 2500 Newton. Okay, in front side, click OK. Then now also we apply here gravity. Okay, gravity added. Now right click and create mesh. You can see meshing is going on. Ok now meshing is done. Now run this study. Yes, we have the result. If your part is uh, made with weld mat, so you will get uh, these two options stress and displacement. So, here you can see I have a uh, upper bone and axial bend reading. So let's see minimum and maximum annotation and floating number. In definition, I am getting here mega pascal and uh, click OK. OK, so here you can see my maximum stress is here 82. And this is my minimum stress value. Here you can see our maximum stress value is 82, and this is our yield strength 35.1. So it means uh, 
my maximum stress value is uh, lower than the yield so that's why i can say this is the safe design for uh, 2500 newton loading now let's see the displacement right click edit definition in chart option so minimum and maximum annotation in here floating number in definition okay here you can see our maximum displacement is 1 mm and this is the part where my maximum displacement occur now let's see another option in stress so right click edit definition here I am choosing XL click OK here you can see my maximum XL value in this portion is 17 megapascal and this is my minimum XL value minus 35 now let's see another ok so I am selecting here torsional value ok here you can see our torsional value so this is my maximum here you can see my maximum torsional value is here 5.6 megapascal and this is my minimum point where is my minimum torsional value minus 5 now let's see another let's say see here in direction 1 ok click right also you can see here is our maximum shear value 16 and side minus 16 minimum shear value now let's say Here in direction 2 and click here you will get a render result it take a little bit time ok here you can see our shear value in second direction so here this is my maximum and this is my minimum here you can see the render line ok this pipe is the render ok now see the displacement this is my maximum and this is my minimum displacement now let's animate and uh, I am making here 25 frame ok so this is the how when we apply 2500 Newton load so what will happen so this is one animation it shows this will happen So this is our uh, front impact now we will make uh, also one rear impact so I am copy the study and this is for our rear impact ok so now delete the old fixture edit it now clear all now here we will apply force from rear side so I am selecting this four joint ok and make it here reverse direction click ok now we will also fix our front let's say we will fix this 5 
which ones okay now done now simple run the study Okay, we have the result here. Okay, so we have a value here in uh, here in second direction. I am changing and uh, making our uh, excel and bending and click ok Here we selected render view that's why we are getting some lag yes here you can see our maximum value is 42 okay and this is my yield is a uh, Three five one. It means I can say this is the uh, safe design for a uh, two five double zero Newton load. Now see the displacement. Okay, here you can see my maximum displacement is point six, and that is here. This is my maximum displacement in this area, red area. And this is my minimum displacement in this area. So here, so here I have minimum displacement. And here I have maximum displacement. Now again, animate it. Right click and animate. Here you can see when uh, force will apply in uh, rear direction. So this is how your structure behavior. So this is your structure behavior from rear side force applied that time. Here you can see. Okay, so here you can see I have a less displacement that is 0.6 and in our uh, rear This is our rear impact So here you can see I have more displacement that is 1 mm So it because of uh, it length It because of it length here you can see the length of the pipe is uh, more and the uh, joint is uh, also have more distance and here you can see in our uh, rear impact we have uh, less pipe length and uh, joint uh, is also has some less distance so that's why we are getting this difference and also we have stress difference also so this is the how you can make a structural simulation on SOLIDWORKS if you are getting something new subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more video so thank you for watching thank you all